Hello and welcome to Fronius. My name's Jasmine, and today I'll be explaining how to set up the system monitoring function from Fronius once you've installed the inverter. To do this, you'll need a laptop, smartphone or tablet. You'll also need the customer's internet password and the network name. Firstly, connect the tablet to the inverter. To do this, open the Wi-Fi access point via the integrated display. Navigate to the main menu using the outer arrow key. Then select the Setup menu and go to the access point. Double-click to activate it. You'll then see the network name and the associated password, which you'll need in the next step. Now you can connect the tablet to the Wi-Fi access point that has just been opened. Select the Wi-Fi access point network and connect the tablet. Now enter the password that you've just seen on the display. For the next step, simply open your preferred web browser and enter the following in the address bar. http colon forward slash forward slash data manager you'll automatically be taken to the start screen of the setup wizard, where a pop-up will appear, informing you that you can also perform this configuration via the FroniaSolar.web app. Now you can begin the actual setup. First, you'll be given the choice of two types of setup wizards. I'm going to use the Solar.web wizard. You can also use the Technician wizard to add additional components during the setup, such as a Fronius smart meter or Fronius solar battery. You'll now be taken to a screen in which you need to enter a few basic details about the system. You'll have to give the system a name and enter the appropriate tariffs of the customer's respective energy supplier. You can give the system any name you wish. I'm going to use the name of the system owner, so that I'll always know who it belongs to should any further work be required at a later date. Then enter the appropriate electricity prices. These may of course vary depending on the customer's energy supplier. Enter the correct time zone and date underneath and click on Forward. In the next step, you'll be asked about the system size. The system has automatically detected the inverter and would like to know the size of the PV generator. In this case, it's 15,000 watts. It's extremely important that you enter this value in watts and not kilowatts. Click on Forward to go to the next step, where you'll configure the network setup. A pop-up window appears automatically, informing you that data from the Fronius inverter will be transferred to FroniusSolar.web. Simply click on Accept to confirm. Now comes the most important part of this video, connecting the inverter to the customer's internet. The standard method is already selected automatically. You'll be connecting the inverter to the customer's router, which is typically a wireless router. In the box on the right, you'll find the customer's network. Select it and continue by clicking on Set. Alternatively, you can also establish a connection to the router using the WPS function. You'll need to obtain the password for this network directly from the customer. A connection between the inverter and the customer's Wi-Fi will now be established. You'll be informed about the connection status on this screen. You can see at a glance whether the connection has been successful as a successful connection will be clearly indicated with a yes. The inverter is now successfully connected to the internet and is ready to transfer data to FroniusSolar.web. To perform the final steps in the setup wizard, you must now also connect the tablet to the same network, which means connecting the tablet to the customer's network. You will once again be asked for the customer's password, which you'll need to enter again. When the connection has been established, return to your web browser. To continue the commissioning process, click on the link shown. 
This will enable you to access the inverter via the network. You'll once again receive confirmation that the connection was successful. Click on Forward. To save all your settings up to this point, you'll need to enter an admin password. You can use a password of your choice. You're now moments away from accessing Solar.web and will be asked to log in. If you do not have a Fronia Solar.web account at this point, it's easy to register for one. I'm going to log in using an existing Solar.web account. In the final step, you'll add the system to your Solar.web account. In this case, a new system has been commissioned. At this point, you can also add a new inverter or replace an existing one. You'll need to enter the local system data. You'll be asked about the system location and who to contact in the event of a fault. Once you've entered everything, click on Forward again. You'll now be taken directly to solarweb.com. You'll not see any data yet, as it can take up to five minutes after the first login for the initial set of inverter data to be transferred to Fronius Solar Web. As you can see, the process is extremely straightforward. For further information, visit our website at www.fronius.com. Thank you for your attention, and until next time.